Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you comparison of the results from StatPro software and ETAP software. So in my yesterday class and before yesterday class, I was explained how to design the structure by using StatPro software as well as the ETAP software. So in this video, I will cover you concept which is re related to the comparison of the StatPro results as well as the uh, ETAP software results. Okay, so initially I will show you the typical floor plan for the prospected building structure. So here I'm selecting my floor plan. So this is my floor plan. So I was already explained to complete typical floor plan details for in my previous video. So you can watch that video for a uh, typical floor plan. Okay. So this is the duplex house which is placed in south facing direction. So after uh, modeling process and analysis process and designing process is completed from the StatPro software and ETAP software, the results will be obtained like beam reinforcement details and column reinforcement details and slab reinforcement details and etc. Okay. So firstly, I will show you the model which is developed in uh, StatPro V8A software. So here I am selecting my StatPro software. So this is my model which is related to the StatPro software. So after analysis process is completed after applying the design results. So as per my consideration, just I was considered uh, M25 grade concrete and FE415 grade steel for the respected design consideration for both the buildings which is developed in StatPro software as well as ETAP software. So firstly, I will show you the column reinforcement details in uh, StatPro software. So here I am selecting my column which is related to the 18th number double click on it. So click on the concrete design. So this is the concrete design which is developed in uh, StatPro V8A software. So for the respected 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23. So for this section, it is required approximately 12 number of the bars, which is having 16 mm diameter as per the design results. Okay. So again, I will show you the results, which is there in detailing for the uh, ETAP software. So here I'm selecting this. So again, we have to select the column detailing option, select this and framing plans. You can select and uh, scheduling and drawings here. You can select and you can select the elevation as section view. So here I'm selecting column one. So here I'm sec selecting section A. Okay. So now we can see for this respected column section as per the uh, ETAPS results, it was obtained that for the respected 300 mm cross 230 mm uh, cross section. So it was obtained that eight number of the bars are obtained for the respected 16 mm diameter. Okay. So now we can see this is the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight number of the bars obtained from the column design. In the uh, StatPro software, it is giving uh, more number of the bars when you compare with the ETAP software. Okay. So one more thing we have to keep in mind. So before designing the column dimension, just we have to give the number of the bars in uh, ETAP software. If you are interested to give the number of the bars for the uh, column, which is related to the 0 0.3 or 0 0.23, you can easily uh, assign that the columns to some 12 numbers. So as per the consideration, it will be give your 12 number of the bars, which is related to the 16 mm. So from this point, you can easily consider that the values, whatever the values that is obtained from the StatPro software as well as your ETAP software are same. But as per my consideration in ETAP software, I was uh, considered that the number of the bars which is related to the column section, I was taken as 8 numbers. So that's why it is showing as a 8 numbers bars. Okay. So this is the comparison results for the StatPro software and ETAP software for the column section. Now again, I will show you the results which is related to the ETAP software for the beam section and StatPro software. So firstly, I am selecting this respected beam, double click on it click on the concrete design. So from these results, you can easily obtain that the top reinforcement will be consisting of three number of the bars, which is related to the 10 mm diameter. And for the bottom section, it is obtained that two number of the bars, which is related to the 10 mm diameter. Okay. So for the respected M25 grade concrete and FE415 grade steel. Again, in the same process, I will show you the results, which is obtained from columns, uh, beam results, which is from uh, ETAP software. So here I'm selecting the beam results. So you can select the uh, the concrete beam section, elevation section. So you can select any one of the beam. Just I'm selecting this beam. So double click on it. So now we can see for this respected beam section, it was obtained that the top reinforcement section will be consisting of the two number of the bars, which is related to the 12 mm diameter. And again, also bottom reinforcement section is also consisting of two number of the bars, which is related to the uh, 12 number of the 12 mm diameter. But it is obtained that 14A, 14F, okay, 14 is the diameter of the bar, which is can be used for the reinforcing bar, but it is sufficient to use the uh, 12 mm diameter for this respective section. Now we can see for the stirrup up section, it is obtained as 10 mm diameter bar, which is related to the 0 0.3 cross 0 0.23 uh, beam size for the respective section. Again, in the same process, you can see the results for the remaining beam sections also. So here I'm seeing the results, which is on second floor. Okay. Second uh, section. Okay. 
so here i'm selecting the second section here like this so now we can see for this respected second section it is uh, coming four number of the bar set the top reinforcement section again two number of the bar set bottom reinforcement section from the uh, e types results you can easily compare with the stat pro results so in a stat pro results it is obtained as a three number of the bars which is related to 10 mm diameter but in case in case of this respected uh, e type software it is obtained as four number of the bars at the top reinforcement section again four number of the bars at the bottom reinforcement section the diameter of the bar will be differ as per your and the number of the bars also differ okay from this results you can easily observe that the reinforcement values is higher for the beam section which is developed in e type software when you compare with statro software okay so for the column section it is obtained as approximately same amount of the result but when you come to the beam section it is coming as a higher reinforcement values in e type software okay so now i will show you the reinforcement details for the slab section so go to select uh, any one of the slab from this so otherwise you can select the uh, output file from this respect slab so here i am selecting stat output file option so that you can double click on it so it will generate the directly the stat output file uh, from the results okay so click on the results option here and click on the concrete design so from this you can easily see the reinforcement details for the respected transitional reinforcement and uh, con uh, confinemental reinforcement okay so now you can see longitudinal reinforcement will be consisting of 126 square meter per me okay so again i will show you the reinforcement details for the respected e type software so here i am selecting the e type software so from this you can select the any one of the results for the slab section so here i am selecting the slab section so from the slab section results you can easily obtain that the reinforcement values is normal condition as per the consideration okay it is approximately equal to the stat uh, results also so from this results uh, by comparing the stat pro results and e type software we can conclude that the values whatever the values that is generated for the column section is same uh, when you develop the models in both softwares like stat and e type software when you coming to the beam structure the reinforcement values will be somewhat uh, higher value when you compare with stat pro results but when you compare the results with uh, slab reinforcement details for the respected ast percentage and ast requirement so the values will be approximately equal not exactly equal the values will be approximately equal when you are uh, going with the comparison of values which is there in stad and e type software okay so this is the complete comparison of the results for the respected uh, duplexers which is the related to the g plus one building so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you